Jennifer Penton here. I hope you had a really nice break and um, here we are going to have a lot of fun with our first Photoshop assignment. The first thing we're going to do is make a potato head to show you how to do simple compositing techniques and to learn how to use the transform tool as well as some of the selection tools. So first we'll get started by being at the home screen in Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2021 and we're going to select create new. Okay, so here we go. And the first thing we'll do once we select create new is we're going to just go with the film and video preset. As you can see, there are tabbed different ways of creating Photoshop documents or PSD files. And I'm going to go ahead and choose film and video. Once I've done that, I'm going to just choose this HDTV, um, very simple uh, preset, which as you can see is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, which is great for like an HD movie. We're not going to worry so much about that though. I'm just going to click on this and click on create. You'll notice that this is the preset. Um, these are the settings for the preset right here. And um, I can actually uh, also name that preset, okay? I'm not going to do that quite yet, just so you can see how I can name it when I'm working on it. So I'm going to go ahead and create. And you'll notice that it shows me a nice um, blank page with some guides that are for film and video. The inner guide is for what's called title safe. And the outer guide is for action safe. We don't have to worry about that so much because we're just learning how to layer things. This layers panel is very important and this is what we're going to be working with. You'll notice this is an untitled piece. So the first thing I really should do is go ahead and file, save as, and I'm going to save it onto my computer. A cloud system is always great as well, but this will work just fine. And you'll notice that I'm going to name it with my last name, Penton Potato Head, and I'm going to call this version 2 since I've been working on one, a version 1 already. And I'm going to go ahead and just save. And now you can see that I have this Penton Potato Head version 2. So what we're going to do, and this you're welcome to do this, is we're going to get all of our assets or parts of this potato head from the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and put my thumb on Command and tab over to the internet, to Google Chrome. Um, by the way, this will work on a PC as well. If you put your thumb on Alt on a PC, you can tab over to any of the open applications that you have available. So right now, as you can see, I am in uh, Chrome, and I actually have a beach scene here, which could be really nice as my background for my potato head. And this is a pretty nice image, and you can see that it's 1104 by 656 pixels. And all I need to do with the latest version of Photoshop is just drag it right in. It used to be that if you did that, you'd have problems. But in this case, I'm okay. So I can center it nicely right here. And as you can see, it's too small for my actual canvas size of my piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this layer larger. The way to do that is to go edit, free transform, or command T, and get used to using these keyboard shortcuts. They're very helpful. Once I do that, you can see I have a bounding box around this image, and what I can do is I can drag a corner, as you can see. I can rotate it. I can hold down control or command or right click and you'll see I can do all kinds of cool things. I can flip it horizontally. Um, I can flip it vertically. I can skew it. I can all kinds of things. If I decide I don't want to do any of these, I can just hit escape. And that takes me out of the free transform tool. But I'm going to go back in and hit command T, hold down command and T. And I want to just make it bigger. So what I'll do is I'll hold down option so it will transform from the center instead of the side. When I hold down Option or Alt on a PC and just drag a corner, I can make it nice and big. See that? Pretty cool. And I'll make it make about this size. This is good. And once I'm done, I'm going to just kind of lift it up using my arrow keys. Um, and I'm going to just hit Return to commit that transformation. Okay. 
you have to hit return when you're transforming or you'll uh, you won't be able to use Photoshop so always hit return after you're done transforming now as you can see that I have this nice background I need to rename it so I can call this double click on the name layer one and just type beach okay and at this point I can actually throw out the original background because I don't need it you can see that this is my layers panel and it's very important that I see this layers panel and that we when you turn in your assignment that I see this layers panel so I can give you a good grade knowing you've actually done all the work yourself because your name is on this and you're showing me all your layers okay so next step is we're gonna hold down command or alt on a PC um, and hit tab and go back into onto the internet and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a potato so if I just go potato and this is a good one and just grab and you'll notice it's a thousand eight by five hundred four pixels I'm just gonna grab it and drag it right into my scene here okay now you'll notice there's a problem right well the problem is that the potato is on a white background and I need to remove that white background so the best I can do right now is to just go over here to my object selection tool which is a new tool in Photoshop and it's excellent um, if I click and hold you'll see there are other tools within it the quick selection tool is another excellent one magic wand is an old tool which is still very viable and usable but I'm going to go ahead and use this object selection tool and just drag it right around the potato one thing you'll you may have noticed is that Photoshop also gives you little tutorials about what each tool does which can be very helpful so there you are and it selected the potato very well you'll notice it didn't even get the shadow and I didn't want the shadow so that's perfect and um, now all I have to do to knock out this white part is hit command J okay and you'll notice I have a new layer and if I turn off layer one the new layer layer two does not have that white around it what did that do what it did was it took that selection okay and it put it on its own layer which was really nice and helpful so I'm going to throw out layer one by dragging it into the trash you can see I have layer two nicely um, on my background my beach background and I can rename this potato head so I double click on it and just type potato head and there you go hit return but I want to transform this so it looks more like a head right so I need to I'm going to go back into the move tool which is our basic tool and see now I can move this around maybe I'll move it over here but I still need to transform it so once again edit command T or free transform and I'm gonna whoops sorry and I'm gonna go ahead and hit command T and I will just rotate it now I could just um, I could do the automatic rotation of like 90 degrees or you know that what have you but this is fine for me I'm sort of eyeballing it and that's okay but I think I do want to possibly let's just think about the light the light is coming from this side and actually it's um, coming from this side in the beach as well so I think we'll leave this potato as it is as far as not flipping it horizontally um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit wider so I'm going to hold down shift and drag the, this center a little vert, vertex which is what this is called just drag it and make it a little wider and if I hold down option as well it can drag it'll drag from both sides as you'll notice just make it a little bit fatter and then I'm going to go ahead and hit return um, and that's fine for now okay so I have my potato head on my beach I'll do one more piece here of this of this fun um, assignment and then I'll let you guys get going with it so maybe I want to put eyes on the potato right so I'm going to make sure I save command S maximize compatibility okay remember your name should be on this so Penton potato head v2 version 2 dot PSD for Photoshop document now I go back into Google Chrome and I'm going to just go ahead and do an image search for um, blueberry and I found a really nice blueberry right here let's see where is that blueberry um, let's look 
Let's move this over a little bit. You know, I just had a really nice one. Here, this one's pretty cute. I think I saw a better one though. Yeah, let's go ahead and use this one. And I just want this blueberry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock its background out. So drag that into Photoshop. And you'll see that it's right here. I'm in the Move tool once again. And I just want this blueberry. So once again, go ahead with the Object Selection tool and click and drag just around that blueberry. And Photoshop's really smart, so it's going to know what I'm looking for. And it does a great job selecting the blueberry. And what do I do? Command J to put that blueberry on its own layer. And now I can just get rid of everything else. And I have a layer two. So I dragged the original uh, image that I had taken from the internet into the trash, changed to the move tool or hit V on my keyboard for move tool, just V by itself, not command V, but just V. And you'll notice I now have a nice blueberry that's an I. Command T or, or uh, Alt T on a PC, hold down Option, and just make it a little bit smaller. And now I have one I. Hit Return, maybe move it over and down. That's looking pretty nice. And we're going to name this I Left. And now I want a second eye, a right eye. So I drag this into the little plus sign next to the garbage can. And now I have an eye left copy. I'm using my move tool. I move it over. And if I hold down shift, it will like stay on the same uh, level as the other blueberry. And now I have an eye right. And of course, if I double click on this, I can rename this layer to be I right. And there you go. Now, I will make this a lot nicer. Maybe I'll have a banana mouth, a, um, let's see, a, a broccoli nose, carob hair, something really cool that can look nice in this beach scene. And this is a .psd file, which means it has layers creating the composite. What I want to turn in is a screen capture. So on a PC, you can just hit the screen capture button. On a Mac, if you hold down Shift uh, uh, Command 4, then you can take an actual picture by clicking and dragging around the entire Photoshop document, including the layers. So I want to be able to see your name on the assignment and the layers panel that shows the eye right, eye left, potato head beach, and all of the other layers that you're going to put in here, you're going to put in at least, I'd say, 15 layers, okay, to really make it fun. Uh, maybe more. You know, you could do 100 layers if you want. Uh, let go, um, let go, and then I have this capture, and this screen capture showing me all my layers and my document is what I'm going to submit into Canvas. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a lot of fun. And I look forward to grading your really cool potato heads. And get really creative. Do something different than what I did. But, you know, try to use some sort of potato head. Or, you know, you could even have the head be made of a different fruit like an orange. Um, be as fun, f Have as much fun with it as you can. Don't forget to save. And have a great day.